Hey guys, Jimbo here for the 138, and I hope you're ready for an adventure because I think I have a good one. Uh, I'm getting ready to hike about an 8.8 .8 mile loop called Spy Rock. It's near Redding Campground. It's a, I think, a state park possibly. Don't know a lot about it, but anyhow, I'm at the camp. I'm at the parking lot of the, of the hike. Uh, it's got a board, but there's no information, and it's got a thing right there that tells me to go that way. We're gonna go clockwise. So clockwise take me around and then it'll come back down this road I just drove down um, pretty much the main thing to know right now is we're under a heat advisory for this evening and tomorrow uh, it's gonna be in the mid mid 90s probably 96 7 possibly um, right now it's a little cloudy because we also have a chance for thunderstorms so um, the chance for thunderstorms go up as the night goes and tomorrow at 60% so I'm kind of hoping it rains because I'd like to test out that tarp and uh, it's just me. I'm doing a solo. Angela's at home with the kid getting ready for our 4th of July festivities. It's Thursday, July 2nd. It is 4.15 in the afternoon. I'm going to get my pack on and I'll get you. I'll talk to you guys on the trail. So hopefully you stick around and enjoy the trip. Hi, uh, Jim's doing a solo today. It is 4.27 on July 2nd and he is going to Redding Spy Rock Loop Trail in Ozark, Arkansas. Um, he's gonna just do an overnight, it's only eight miles, um, and we thought this would be a good trip to try out a um, GPS monitoring device so that I could see where he is when he's doing his solos, and then it, you know, it gives him an opportunity to communicate with myself, or if he needs serious help, then it allows him to communicate with emergency um, personnel actually it's more of a it sends a message to them that he can't really communicate it's not a two-way it's a one-way so you've probably seen this before it's the spot gen 3 satellite gps messenger that's a little picture of it there on the back he actually has it with him of course um so i just received my first message from him so what i'll do is um, i'll stop my video and show you what the text message looks like and then i'll also show you um a I guess a screen video of my app where I can check and see his first breadcrumb tra trail that shows me where he's at. Before I do that, um, I will show you on the website where you can create a shared link for your family. So I have the app and I log in with my SpotGen um, user ID, which we don't want to give out to everyone. So this shared app allows you to share a link or a URL to anybody that you want to. You can even put it on Facebook if you want. Um, I don't know why you would, but <laughs> um, you can go out there and see where they are and watch them in real time. It just allows multiple people to, to see where you are in case you need help. So with that, I will show you uh, the screen. Okay, so one day I'll be able to actually uh, record it on the computer, but for now I'm just gonna show you my screen. So this is, is what it looks like. Um, you would click shared views. We had created this already by clicking this plus button over here. Um, and then I named it Spyrock Gym 72 2020. So we know what it is and we'll have a record of it. Um, this is where you would copy the link or share the link, but I'm just gonna view it. So it's gonna open up another screen for me and it's gonna show us where he is. It takes a minute for it to load, plus my internet's a little slow today because everybody in the world's working today. And there he is, right there. And so that's his uh, parking spot. This is the loop that he's gonna be doing. Kind of shows everything. It's got the nice topographical. He's going up this way, so he's gonna have himself a bit of a trek up. So uh, now I'm gonna show you the uh, app as well. Okay, so that is it. Um, I expect that he will probably send me another breadcrumb or well, he'll, the breadcrumbs will keep dropping until he gets to camp, at which time he'll send me another one of those texts and it'll say I'm at camp. He'll shut off um, the breadcrumb trail so it's not eating up his battery, but he'll leave the power on in case anything happens. And then um, 
he will send something tomorrow when he's back on the trail and I will continue to watch his breadcrumb trails. I'll, I'll try to post a little bit as we go, maybe check in again tonight to see where he's at, how far he's gotten. Um, we're a little worried about it because the weather's gonna be pretty hot today. Um, they had a heat advisory of I think 111 for today um, and there's not a lot of water sources on this trail so he took a few liters of water um, but I'm still nervous about that of course because I always worry so trail mama can't help it um anyway see you soon okay it's 4 30 I'm officially on the trail uh this I've read mixed reviews on what to expect water wise and I just crossed a really small stream it wasn't much of anything, but I could have got water out of it, but everything I've read this time of year, there's a good chance everything will be dried up. So I'm packing four liters of water, which really sucks because, you know, that's almost nine pounds of, of extra weight that I don't really want to carry. But that being said, I'm at about 35 pounds, which is going to suck. So I'm going to be drinking water as fast as I can just to shed weight. Anyhow, um, this is about an 8.8 .8 mile loop top of the loop which is halfway there's what's called spy rock it's a big overlook rock that's kind of on the edge of a, what looks to be a small cliff i don't know it's not very many videos on youtube about it so following blue blazes and uh we're just gonna see what happens it's a little overgrown but the trail is well beat so we'll see looks like a pretty nice looking trail i can't wait to to get to the end of it i worked a full shift today nine hours and it took me about an hour and 15 minutes of drive time to get here, so I'm raring to go. I'm ready to get where I'm going and chill out for a while and have a nice hang on a, a pretty neat little, I found a nice little place online. I talked to some people that backpack on the forums on Facebook and a lady named Heidi told me about a, a really nice spot, so hopefully it'll pan out and you guys should get a really good, uh, video hopefully so we'll see i'll talk to you after a while so far the streams do look small the last one i could have got water out of but this one is uh, i mean i probably could but boy glad i packed extra water okay well i found the junction where the loop starts as you can see that's west i'm going that way i just came from the east which is behind me and then there's a trail that heads back to Redding Campground. So this is the actual trailhead and we're going to go west and we're going to start. Should be a short hike to the, the road that I drew. There's a road, uh, 85 I believe. And once I get past that, it should be uh, nature until I come back to 85. So let's get it going. I'm happy and I'm ready to go. I just came out of there. According to the map, it goes, oh, there it is right there. It's going to cross this little highway and then dive right back into it. A lot of people just walk this road from the parking spot, and I don't understand that, why you would want to walk a road when you can literally go another 10 minutes and just be on the trail the whole time, but to each their own, right? Hike your own hike and all that jazz. Decided to take a quick break and grab some water, shed some weight. Need to drink as much water as I can. Uh, I've only went about three quarters of a mile. It's been after the after the road, the elevation has been steady and upward. So I thought it'd be a good time to take a break. One thing I've noticed is once I got past the, the road on this side of the road, the trail has got a lot of pine needles on the ground. It's pretty nice. The other side was pretty overgrown and wasn't anything like this. This is nice, even though it's uphill and it's it's rockier. There's a, I feel like there's a better grip i mean it's nicer it's softer but yet there's rocks to where you can stand on a rock and get grip oh, nothing like a little hot water to get you going we got clouds which is making it nice it's not nearly as hot as it was earlier today it got pretty it was full blast sun today and it was super super hot right now it's it's not super hot i need to get a little thermometer so i can tell you what temperature is but it's probably 90 Maybe 85, I don't know, somewhere between there. All right. Like I said, I'm only doing four and a half to five miles today to get to the camp spot. And then uh, I'll make camp. I should get there in plenty of time. And uh, got a little adventure 
when we get to the camp spot that I'm not gonna tell you what it is because I'm hoping it pans out. If it doesn't, I don't wanna sound like I worked you all up for nothing. So uh, I'm gonna grab my trekking poles and off, off I go. All right, it's five o'clock. I've done 1.16 miles. Um, I'm not sure what that is per average. I didn't look, I don't really care. As long as I get there well before dark so I can set up, I don't really care. Right now it feels like I'm being waterboarded by Mother Earth because uh, it's like breathing through a wet towel or something. It's, the humidity is ridiculous. Um, I just stopped to get another drink and I'm trying to coordinate these stops on the at least quarter hour, maybe half hour because we're testing out my, our spot. So Angela is at home. Uh, gonna try to get breadcrumbs so we can see how this thing works and maybe for a future video, maybe you might insert it into here. I don't know, but it's five o'clock and I went 1.16 miles. For the, past, for the past few minutes, I've been hearing thunder. It's in the distance, but it seems to happen a little more and more often. So I might get to test out that typhoon tarp after all. I'm hoping I can get there and get at least my fly set up before it starts raining, but man, I just feel like it's too hot out here and humid to put my frog togs on. So I might choose just to take the shower. I don't know, we'll see. Found a cool little rocky area where I can sit down and not be in the weeds, so I'm taking advantage of it. More thunder. Um, I'm at kind of a, a high point. The trail just kind of dropped down. Um, at some point, I'm supposed to be able to like look that way. I know you don't know which way that is, but straight ahead of me. And across the valley, you can see Spy Rock, but this time of year, it's completely green. I mean, that's, that's way downhill. It's steep. And uh, there's probably not going to, if this is the vantage point, we're never going to see it. Uh, I don't know if I set it, but I'm about a mile and three quarters in. I got about three and a half hours of daylight. I'm pretty sure that I can do uh, three miles in <laughs> three and a half hours. So I'm not really going to get too stressed. I'm already sweating like a dog. My shirt's sweated. It's completely soaked. And uh, I'm just not going to overwork myself. I don't feel like it. And I'm not going to do it. Maybe it'll rain, maybe it won't rain. I'm really, I don't care one way or another, to be honest with you. <laughs> I'd like to take a moment to thank my subscribers. This is my, I think, fourth video on backpacking. And uh, my first one, when I posted my first one about the BRT and Olivia and Angela and I, I had 12 subscribers. I'm already got 22. That's awesome, man, 10, like that's almost double. And this is my fourth video. And it seems like every time I post a video, I get like one or two more. Uh, you know, half of those people from the 10 new subscribers are either co-workers or personal friends, but five of them aren't. Uh, I got one guy, he's a runner, and I don't know much about him, but he subscribed and he told me that he just happened to cross my video and liked it, so he subscribed, and that's it's phenomenal, man. That's, that's not the whole reason why I do this, but it's a big reason. One big reason I like to do this is just because when I go for a trail hike, camping exp expedition. Angela and I both research the crap out of it. We look for as many videos as we can watch and uh, we soak it in, you know, we take notes. And uh, like this one, there was legitimately one that gave me any good information. Another one had still pictures set to music and that one actually showed me where I'm gonna be kind of camping, which was cool. But those were the only two. There was one other one where a guy in an RV that, but he mainly talked about his truck. So I don't really consider that a good video for what I'm doing. It's a good video for what he's doing, not for me. So by making this video, people that come in my path that are beginners like me, will be able to soak up some information, know a little bit more what to expect. And uh, anyhow, I'm gonna quit filibustering and uh, get the hell back on the road. So talk to you soon. So it's gotten darker. I don't know if you guys can tell or not. It's gotten darker. It's a little more windy, which is a welcome relief. And the noise, I can either hear wind or maybe rain on on the wind i don't know but uh i don't know i think it's probably gonna rain so i'm just gonna start going as far as i can and might not have time to pull my camera out every every 15 minutes so we'll see what happens oh by the way i think i see spy rock um i lost it it was in the trees if i 
get a chance, I'll get a shot. Okay, I don't know if you can see it or not, but right up there, there's some bluffs. That's Spy Rock. It's really hard to show you. Let me see if I can zoom in while holding two trekking poles in my hand. Yeah, that's Spy Rock. Super hard to show you, but that's where I'm heading. And now check out the sky, how dark it is. Awesome sauce. Let's do this thing. 5.30 and I'm out of here. All right, it's two and a half miles in, 2.6 to be precise. And I'm coming up to a road crossing or parallel. No, it's going across, I see it. So one bad thing about this is they've got a road that goes all the way within a half mile of Spy Rock. So every once in a while you get to hear cars go by, but it's all right. We're gonna just cross over and keep on going this way. The temperature's dropped a little bit. Sun is definitely not out anymore. And uh, it's a lot cooler out, so cool with it. A little bit of wind. It's really making for a not so heat advisory. So anyhow, I better use two hands right here. Six o'clock, uh, about four minutes till, but good enough for us, right? So one thing I didn't tell you, and. A lot of you probably know that this loop that I'm on is considered a spur, a spur trail entrance way to the Ozark Highland Trail. I probably didn't say that right, but it's one of the ways, if, like if you wanted to stay at Redding, you can totally get to the Ozark Highland Trail this way, the OHT. Um, we're gonna follow this spur trail and then it's gonna split off and go, I think to the right to go to the OHT and we're gonna, we're gonna veer left to Spy Rock. So six o'clock and we're here at this point and we're going this way so i have to say i'm pretty pretty happy with my progress right now i've been maintaining about a two mile an hour pace and that's really what i wanted that's what angela and i usually keep um, that's counting uh, all my brakes i stopped just a little while ago and had a bite of uh dried apricots and some jerky because my stomach was reminding that reminding me that I usually eat between five and six on a daily basis. So Angela wasn't here to tell me to eat, so I had to do it myself. I sure miss Trail Mom. I hope she's doing okay. Uh, I hope she's not worried about me. She's the reason I have the spot. She wanted me to have it for these solos and then for when we start doing our bigger adventures. Good idea. Kind of pricey, but it's it's worth it. And everybody to know that I'm still moving and not dead, or us as a couple. Are still rolling. Anyhow, I've done three miles. It's probably about one more mile to Spy Rock, if I was to guess, which would put me right on track. So we'll see you after a while. Wow, the wind's really picked up. We get big gers, bursts, bursts. I don't know what that means. The wind's really picked up. It goes in and out, but when it blows, it's blowing pretty good. Man, I better put my phone down and keep walking. It might be blowing something, man. Okay. If I was to go that way, it would take you to the OHT. I'm definitely not going that way. And it's getting dark. It's not even that late. And it looks like it's already like getting ready to get dark. Crazy weather. So, hell, I mean, even the lightning bugs are out already. Don't they know it's still daytime? All right, I'm heading to Spy Rock. Found the first camp spot. <clears throat> just now started raining. Uh, it's really not dark enough to look like it's gonna rain very much, but they're pretty good sized drops. It looks like we're just about ready to find what this is all about. I had to pick up my pace back there. I'm kind of out of breath, but oh wow. Yeah, this looks awesome. Hells yes. Check this out as it starts raining. And the rain happens. Okay, I got to put my phone down. Okay, so uh, my daughter and I went to eat and went to Walmart and I just checked the weather because it looks pretty crappy out here and noticed that 
um, it is red it, where Jim is right now. So he is getting dumped on. It is about 620, so he's getting dumped on. He should be at camp right now, so hopefully he's been able to get his tarp set up and it's not flying all over because it's pretty windy here. He's about an hour and a half away from us, but we're all kind of getting the same thing. So hope he's doing okay. Well, that escalated quickly. It's a uh, full-on storming. I'm soaked. <laughs> um, I got my tarp up. It's keeping me relatively dry. I'm not going to mess with my hammock. I think, I'm hoping this might blow over in a little while. I'll just chill. Um, I don't know. Try to tune it in maybe a little bit. I mean, it was hammering down. This place, I know I, you didn't get a very good look, but there's a ledge that drops down like 20 feet and then there's another camping spot down there and I shimmied down there kind of a sketchy path going down there but there was no good hanging spots so I had to climb back up here and, and use just one of the generic spots I thought my I thought my tarp was longer than this it's a typhoon but it doesn't seem to be very as long as I thought it was supposed to be I might end up having to buy a bigger one this one doesn't seem much bigger than a regular hex really Oh well, I might have to put the door, the glass panels on too. Oh well, I'll check in later. I don't know what time it is, let's see. It is sometime after six, I don't know. I don't have my glasses on, they're all wet and foggy. Anyhow, I'll check in later. So, I got my tarp up. Um, I'm not super impressed with the typhoon. Feel moisture hit me, and I don't know where it's coming from. That means I might get wet tonight. And that'll suck. I don't know how I could have done it any different to make it not do that. Maybe the wind is really bad or something, but I'm gonna get wet. And I'm too far away to hike home to my car. That would take me another four hours of hiking in the rain and in the dark. I don't know. I think my best option right now is just to eat some food, heat up some food, maybe drink a little wine. Angela got me a little black box of wine. Woo! And uh, hope this storm passes, I guess. I wanted adversity and I got it. Heat advisory, thunderstorm, whole gambit. Welcome to Arkansas. So uh, I'm going to buckle down, try to get my gear as dry as possible, and then. Uh, Eat a bite and maybe try to go to sleep and forget about this. <laughs> Anyhow, thanks Angela. Here's to you. Well, it's 7.48. Uh, I decided not to eat because it's just too shitty outside. I'm in my hammock and I'm getting soaked. My uh, Hennessy Typhoon tarp isn't doing anything. I'm just, it's going right through it. Um, I thought they were supposed to keep me from getting wet, but the rain is just blasting right through it. So, uh, I thought I'd be okay, but it just keeps getting wetter and wetter in my hammock. And I've decided to pull stakes and I am going to put some dry clothes on. They won't last very long, but I'm going to put dry clothes on. I'm going to pack my shit up. I'm going to dump most of my water so I have a light load and I'm going to haul ass back to the car. It's probably five miles and I'll get there after dark. I'll use my headlight and I don't give two shits. I am not sleeping in this. I'm at the top of a hill at the bluff. There's lightning, strong wind. It's not the best place to camp. And uh, I wanted adversity and I got it. So now I'm paying the price. I'm going to uh, start walking back, hiking back, get some clean clothes on, hike back to the car and drive home. I got about an hour and a half to drive once I get there. So it is going to be late, late, late. I might even crash in my car. I don't know, but man, it is nutty out here. Lightning, thunder, the wind is just insane. And uh, I don't know, I guess I guess it was the wrong weekend. I guess I need to buy a Cuban fiber uh, tarp. Man, whatever. 
I don't know how often I'll be able to pull my phone out to, to give you an update, but as of right now, I am at Spy Rock at the point and I am packing up and getting the hell out of here. Peace. Okay, so I just got a message about 825 from Jim. Um, on the spot, it was a uh, message that we set up in advance that just said, at camp all as well. Um, it's what we agreed he would send once he got to camp so that I knew he was safe and where he needed to be. I don't know if it came super late because the storm is still happening there. Um, it's just raining now. It, it He's out of the red at least, so um, it may be that the signal just now came or he genuine, genuinely got to camp. It may be that he hunkered down for a little while uh, while it was storming really bad. So um, I'll be interested to see what it was like for him and the timing. Um, and then I will show you on my app what his breadcrumb trails look like and then also what it looks like on the uh, Find Me Spot uh, website. So it's 10.13, I just got back to my car and sock, soaking wet, I took my head to take my shirt off, my frog tugs, oh I guess they kind of work the bottoms, but I sweat so bad inside them I might as well just not even worn them. I feel like tonight was kind of a fail, uh, that trip back though, man, I wish I could have had video because it was a little, a little crazy. Um, I feel like I owe you guys a better video. I'll have to come back and do the whole thing so you guys can see the second half. Oh, it's, it seems like it's beautiful. I went by a waterfall. I can hear it, but I couldn't see it. I heard, I've heard. i heard there's two here. But anyhow, I'm going to grab some apricots because I still haven't ate and uh, start driving home. I, uh, I apologize. My gear just wasn't good enough. I need to ditch the Hennessy tarp and get a Cuban fiber because... I would have really liked to have waited that storm out. I guess it's just kind of raining now, but I mean, with the right tarp, it wouldn't have been nothing. But anyhow, it is what it is. I uh, owe you guys a video, and thanks for watching.